or even to say, as an artist, I don't like Trump, but Eminem went further. So let's listen to a little bit of it for people who haven't heard it. It's the calm before the storm right here. Here. Yeah, what's that voice? <laughs> Wait, how was I going to start this off? I forgot. Do you think he wrote this oh, or yeah. is this truly freestyle? I oh, know he wrote That's it. That's an okay. awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not, but that's all I got. Whoa, whoa. Wait, what does this? that mean? I'm... Okay, people were definitely clowning on that. <laughs> I don't. Maybe it was a freestyle. Actually. I think it's funny. I mean, I, it's just like what? Well, okay. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> Eminem did not leave his love of language at home. Eminem loves internal rhyme. I, I mean, I was in. I think as it's soon, funny. I don't get it, but I think it's funny. There's actually something, his voice sounds a lot weirder when you don't see his face. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, yeah. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not, but that's all I got till I come up with a solid... Got a plan and now I got a hatchet like a damn Apache with a tomahawk. I'm a walk inside a mosque on Ramadan and say a prayer that every time... Talks... She gets a ma- ah. Oh wait, stop. did he mess up in it? Yeah. Maybe but it was freestyle. Better give Obama props, cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. And while the drama pops and he waits for to quiet down, he'll just gas his plane up and fly around to the bombing stops. Such well, a heavy image. Yeah, when he started off, when I first started watching it, I was kind of like, okay. And I noticed that when this came out, a lot of people, of course, as always, people have all manner of opinions about it. People are bringing up, well, is it, who cares what Eminem has to say? Like, think about some of his, like, crazy misogynistic lyrics of the past, homophobic stuff. Sure. Fair enough. But the one thing that I really felt like you had to give him props for was when he just really drew a line in the sand. That. This is for Colin. Ball up a gonna build that thing up taller than this. <laughs> when he goes southern, yeah. Tricks. Cause I'm throwing that piece of shit against the wall till it sticks. And any fan of mine, right? This is a who's a supporter of his. I'm drawing in the sand a line. You're either for or against. And if you can't decide who you like more in your split, on who you should stand beside, I'll do it for you with this. F you. If you want to say that Eminem's his art's been problematic or he's been problematic as a person, like you can't deny that. And again, I know that there's so many annoying reactions to this freestyle. A lot of people, <laughs> Keith Olbermann. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, what a moron. Yeah. For people who don't know, Keith Olbermann, after this Eminem freestyle, tweeted. After 27 after years. After 27 years of which not, is 1990. Yeah, why did he pick 1990? <laughs> Rapper's Delight came out in the late 70s. Keith Olbermann, after 27 years of not getting rap or being a fan, I finally get it. Like, weak. You couldn't create more of a caricature of just like a white moron than that. Yep. And actually, that reaction, it's just like, dude, shut up. That's exactly why probably then people are like, you know what, f this freestyle. Yeah. Including lefty people because of people like Keith Olbermann. But that's dumb. I mean, people the, shouldn't react to other people's reactions. Well, react. they should. They should clown on Keith Olbermann and yeah. Stuff. But the, okay, the one thing that we both agree on about this freestyle is that Eminem is the only white artist in America who has sold over, let's say, five million records, a ton of records. Yeah, over ten million records. He's the only major white artist in America who has said something that extreme. And people are going to say, "Well, hold on, aren't there a lot of?" liberal artists who've spoken out against Trump? Sure. Aren't there a lot of liberal white artists who make statements? I truly cannot think of anybody at his level who would literally turn to his fan base, which you know includes many white Trump voters, and say, he's not even being on some like Bruce Springsteen shit. He's like, I don't like Trump. He's literally saying, choose. Yeah, maybe you're like the Roger Waters guy who can go see him diss Trump at the Stable Center and still go home and love Pink Floyd. No, you cannot do that. With me. I'm literally saying, F you, I'm going to put out an album soon and I'm drawing a line in the sand. Don't even F you, I hate you. On the scale of white superstars in America, you have Taylor Swift saying nothing. Yep. And then you have your like classic down the middle kind of just like liberals being like, Trump's bad news, man. I don't respect him. But very few people have said like, I literally 
am telling anybody, including these you, my fan who loves me as a person, who gives me money regularly. Right. F- you, I hate you. Nobody's done that. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. And again, I'll, I'll point out, I'm talking about white superstar artists. I'm not trying to say that Eminem is the most noble rapper because as a lot of rappers who are black pointed out, well, we've been saying this for a long time. True. Yep. Only by point of comparison with the other white superstars of a country where white people have a lot of power and got this guy elected. Only Eminem did that. That's something. Punk it, rock, man. It doesn't mean you have to forgive his past sins, but it really makes a lot of other people look bad. I think. I wonder what this did for his friendship with Kid Rock. Because those two are tight. Were they ever friends? They, yeah, they're in each other's videos and stuff. Oh, Kid man. Eminem has a bunch of songs where he references Kid Rock. Yeah, maybe 15, 20 years ago. I mean, yeah, I would think... Oh, Kid Rock's not feeling this. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Do you think he got that call? Like, damn, what are you... What it's are you also... You yeah, know, hey, it, kid, just a heads up. Yeah. I wonder if he really did freestyle it. I'm so intrigued by, like... Because well, it was videotaped, so it's like... So, like a lot of people point out, a lot of so-called freestyles are not exactly freestyles. I, I mean, I don't know anything about that world. It's not like it was live and somebody said to him... Go. We know it was a freestyle if somebody said... Live on TV, and it was like, uh, can I get a topic from the audience? Yeah, like a, like and a, somebody's like, like uh, improv class. Donald Trump, okay, and um, can I get a, a word or phrase to start me off? And I don't want it to be something that has to do with Trump, but just a word or phrase completely at random get me started. And then Kit raises his hand, a coffee pot. <laughs> and then like the host is like, let's see how you get out of this one, Eminem. Okay. <laughs> That's an awfully hot coffee pot. He, he really, it's a very uh, weird beginning. The way he kind of speeds up, whether he's doing it kind of just to fool us or not, he really gives the impression that he's like working something out in real yeah. time. Because he just didn't come out and be like, that's an awfully hot coffee pot. He really yeah. just comes out, that's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> pot. Should I throw it on trying to die? And there are a few times when you listen to like yeah, the, he, he the stops lyrical and starts a few times. Or yeah. just that once. Maybe it really was one take. It's got a slam poetry kind he of He just vibe, wanted to go I'll home. I'll say that. And look, you can also clown on the coffee pot line and still just say... I'm in on the coffee pot line. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> Eminem <laughs> is... Awfully hot. Em- <laughs> also, awfully. I know. How often it's in regular... so weird. In a regular day does Eminem say awfully? It's that's like, it's awfully like a, hot. That's a he's a little British gentleman, right? Or like Haley's like, Dad, are the hot dogs ready? Yeah, but I just pulled them out of uh out of the boiling water, Haley. So they're awfully hot. Thanks for the heads up, Dad. Jeepers, these are hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Dad. I'll let it cool for a little bit. Eminem also. He might have Bob Dylan beat for like biggest artist with the craziest voice. <laughs> totally. <laughs> That's an awful. It's crazy. Yeah, sick tan. That's why he wants us to disband because he cannot withstand the fact we're not afraid of Trump. Walking on eggshells, I came to stomp. That's why he keeps screaming, drain the swamp because he's in quicksand. I don't know. That's an awfully. <laughs> <laughs> His palms are sweaty. 